Hello there assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin guide. I am back here on a very old tutorial world for an upgrade. Now, I originally built this pixel art birthday cake tutorial, um, without these banners by the way, it's, it's in the background there as you can see. Um, but I really wanted to do something a little bit further, I've seen a lot of you guys building this for friends and family, and I thought we want to take this a step further and really make their days even special, uh, even more special than just a simple 2D Minecraft build. You know, Minecraft is a three-dimensional game. Let's add something cool to it as well. So I've gone ahead and built this little birthday cake scene just here. Um, so you can be sat having a little dinner party just here. You can flip on the lever. I don't know if there's any fireworks in there. There's not. Oh, there is. Well, there we go. So as you saw, fireworks beam out, the cake lights up, and everyone's happy. But there's no shame in building this for yourself either. That's why I'm going to teach you guys how to build this today. I think it's a really cute little project and it really helps the uh, cake sort of stand out even further whilst you're having your own cake. So it, you could even look at this as a really cruel project, you know, eating cake in front of a huge cake with eyes. <laughs> Wipe that smile off your face. <laughs> Before I get too weird, let's get building. <laughs> okay then, so to begin, I would most definitely recommend taking yourself in the middle of your cake. So just here. By the way, you will need to go ahead and watch a separate tutorial for this cake, as this uh, video is an add-on tutorial. Um, but it doesn't take you very long. I think the video is like 15 minutes at the max. Um, so yeah, get yourself the kawaii cake built up, and then you can go ahead and add this part to it. We're going to take ourselves some fireworks, a redstone repeater, a dispenser, redstone dust of course, oak wood, a lever, azalea leaves, and flowering azalea leaves as well, one of my favourite Minecraft materials. Okay, if we go to the back of our cake just here, we have like a number of spaces we can place our dispensers for fireworks. I actually quite like the fireworks to be in amongst the cake, kind of looking like the eyes are twinkling and making it look really cool, but you could add them onto the candles, you could add them on the chocolate of the cake or wherever you wish to. You know, feel free to add them wherever you want. What I'm going to do with mine though is I'm going to stick them kind of in a row on the ground down here. So I'm going to go about two blocks in from my cake just here, one, two, and on number three I'll place my dispenser and I'll keep doing this until I feel pretty happy with this, probably until I'm about two blocks from the end on the other side as well. Oh this one goes into a trench, <laughs> you can sort of see where I may have done this before. <laughs> okay so we're about three blocks from the end here so we'll leave that there, that's absolutely fine. So yeah, we have ourselves this amount just here. That's actually perfect. Then what I'm going to do is take myself a space down from each of these. Like so. And then place myself a repeater like this. Against every single dispenser. Now I'll take another kind of bit of trench here for redstone dust. And then I'm going to build the dust connecting each of these little trenches together on this furthest most um, outer sort of thing just here. What I'll do as well on a few of these, I want to stick myself um, a resin repeater up here to connect the two parts. So I'm going to do this part up here, like so, and then maybe another one just here as well. So not too far away, but not too close either. That's pretty good. Now I need to go ahead and build this down into the middle of where I think my uh, my little sort of picnic place will be set up. So I'm going to go along from this position. I'm going to go to about here and start to build it down. Down here. And then we want everything to be hidden behind the cake. So I'm going to go in line with the cake now to go down for this part. Now you may see a, a sort of open trench here. I thought I'd open it up to save us some time. So I'm going to loop back on myself here and then go this way. Now it gets a bit dark, so what I'm going to do is swap out my rockets for now, as you guys will have them on you. I'm going to take myself some light just here so I can see what I'm doing down here in this um, very dark trench tunnel sort of system. So like this, I'm going to go right the way along, and what I'll do is I'll backtrack in a moment to add in myself some repeaters, because we're going to need to see the power going right the way through this tunnel, aren't we? So we go right the way to here, and I'm going to actually turn the corner when I feel happy. You may just want to pop your head out every now and again, just to see the distance you are from your cake. So yeah, this is probably a good distance. So where this corner is here, 
already placed for me, which is weird. <laughs> just here. And then what I'm going to do is come above ground just here and just mark a trench out to where I want the middle to be. So I want the middle to be here in line with the sort of nose um, area or the smile. So it's going to be just here. And I'll follow my redstone along with this as well. Make sure that this is on the uh, second um, layer down, by the way. So one is here for ground, and this is the second one, and this is the third one, which we're actually sticking our redstone on. That's perfect. Now I recommend sticking a repeater here and there, back down the uh, tunnel. Not all the, all the way, of course. And if you want to give it a little test before actually any fireworks go in here, it is a good job to just place a, uh, your lever on the end of your contraption and then follow it along and you can sort of see where the, uh, the power goes dead, which you will need to add in, obviously, lovely redstone contraptions. Oh, repeaters, sorry. <laughs> contraptions? So there we go. Yep, now you can hear all the dispensers just went off. That's perfect. So here I'm just going to swap this dispenser to be, uh, repeater to be there, because the power looked a bit weak. Still a bit weak there, but it's actually fine. That would be fine. So yeah, we have this going for us now. We can close up the uh, tunnel in places we don't need to see it. So basically all the way along here now. And this is obviously where we're going to have our um, picnic sort of area set up, which is going to be lovely. So we want the lever to be on the bench. So I'm going to stick my lever here. Now let's check the power is still on. It might not be because it's not directly under it. It's not. So we need to go ahead and make sure the redstone is going to be under where the lever is. So now technically it's under this block. So we move the uh, redstone there, flip the lever on. Oh yeah, we can't see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break my redstone here, this one, and then build my redstone up here using the bench as my sort of hidden contraption for my lever. So this log as the bench is going to be the hiding our redstone beneath it, which will power all of those uh, rockets that will fly up from the cake. So there we have our lever. That's perfect. Okay then guys, so after switching out my lighting material for some glass, what I'm going to do is go ahead and go from my log here. I'm going to go in the middle here by 10 blocks high with my glass. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and destroy the previous 9. Up here, I'm going to take myself around the sides for a point. And then beneath, I'm going to do the same thing with the points on. And again, once more, actually, before we do that, let's just destroy the inner points for those four. And then we'll do it once more. So we're really starting to build a dome now. If we just take ourselves points again from each of these out like so, and then go back in to destroy the blocks in here now to make it hollow on the inside and that should look great that looks awesome i was wondering where my cake had gone for a second i was like wait pusheen <laughs> here is the cake awesome now we want to take ourselves azalea from the top here coming down so we do three on these sides oops just like so and then we're going to come in a block here, 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 and that's that. We then want to come down ourselves with uh, two lots of flowering azalea just on these corners, which looks really beautiful against the uh, azalea and the blue skies of Minecraft. So there we go. Look at that. It's looking really cool. We also want this to go around the corners so on the uh, left and right side, rather than the front and back, we wanted to come out again for these three. Just like so. So this one's going to be empty, and the back one's going to be empty, just so that the cake is at the foreground, with this sort of flowering crown around it. Now we want to come in down for two again. And you can sort of see where we're building into one. So we have three at the top for these corners, and we're sort of coming down to a point for one. So the next thing to do here is to take our normal uh, non-flowering azalea leaves and build from this left side I'm going to go, this left one firstly. I'm going to take myself out the side and forward just here. So from the back one, 
out the side and forward. And again, spin around to the back one and go out the side and forward. And again, out the side and forward, like that. And you should look from this above and see everything coming out the sides rather than going sort of straight forward like that. Now, if you go down to the bottom in the gap of these non-flowering, to build a flowering for singular one, and then build three of your normal up from there. And you should have what looks like a gazebo here for your lovely picnic setup that we're about to build. Like so. And then we can build two more of these flowering, kind of going around into diagonal sort of curves like this. So they will enclose this picnic space uh, without actually having doors or windows, which looks really nice. Lovely, look at that, that looks amazing. Right, let's get ourselves some new materials and really make this look comfortable and uh, cozy. So the next materials we will need, we're gonna need ourselves an oak slab, some spruce trap doors, a cake, no birthday is complete without cake, some normal candles, the ones that are kind of tan colored. I think it matches the cake and it looks pretty cool. Armor stands, all the chain armor you can get. I've just grabbed a helmet just because that's the only thing that I'll fit in my inventory right now. A diamond sword, a lilac, and a rose bush. What we'll do is we'll take ourselves an armor stand on the corners, basically, kind of going inwards to one another, like so. Then we'll take ourselves a lilac and we'll build them just behind each armor stand. Oops, for some reason it plays two. There we are. And then behind these, you can take three rose bushes or even just the two. I think the two actually looks pretty good. But if you want to do loads more, then feel free as well. So the two either looks good or you can add in a further two, two more um, to really make them pop out. So the red looks like the more dominant sort of coloring there. And it also adds a bit more structure, I think, to the actual gazebo, which is pretty cool. If we go ahead and pose all of our armor stands with their arms outwards, kind of in an inviting manner, like that. So they're kind of enclosing the birthday person, encapsulating them, making them feel special. And we put swords all around them, kind of like a uh, ceremonial sort of thing just here. And then of course, full chain armor on each of these armor stands as well. And we'll also take ourselves four of our picnic benches with slabs like so, and then fold up yourself some spruce trap doors on each of these and down the sides of your log as well, like that. We'll do a cake in the center and then three candles on each side of the cake, like so. Oh, lovely. Now we'll take ourselves a flint and steel to go ahead and light our candles. Obviously very, very important. We don't want to forget that. A bunch of fireworks to go and top up the dispensers behind our cake, of course. Very, very important too. We don't want anyone being let down because we forgot to uh, do some stocking up. That would not be good. Uh, you can put full stacks in these if you wish to. Um, just make sure they're all different colours. I think it looks better if they are all different colours. I don't know why I've got greys and whites here. You definitely want yourself light colours like purples, blues, reds, oranges, yellows that sort of thing. That would be really cool. Luckily, I have a bunch in my inventory, which is very helpful. Greens, yeah, that would look cool. So there we are. And then we're gonna take ourselves chains and lanterns. And what we're gonna do is from the top up here, we'll dangle three chains down with one lantern, two chains and two chains on both sides with a lantern each. You can even do these at separate angles if you want to. So you could even do sort of like this, which could look pretty cool as well. I mean, it does look pretty fancy. Um, or you could even just do one a little bit higher than the others, like that, and then maybe make the middle one dangle even further down. So they're all at different heights. But I prefer just going for the, the usual sort of three and two, just on the sides like that. Now let's get ourselves some uh, banners and get building a happy birthday message with our banners, and we can call it a day. Now the first word we want to spell out is of course happy. No birthday is complete without being happy. We want to take ourselves a light blue banner, an orange banner, two green banners, one blue banner, some white dye, light blue dye, orange dye, green dye, and blue dye. So basically all the dyes that match the banners we have here. The light blue banner will go in, the white dye will follow. 
we'll take ourselves a white pale dexter, a pale, uh, sorry, a white fess, and then a pale sinister in white as well. Then we'll swap out our white dye for our light blue and do a borgia for this letter just here. So we have the H, but it has a border around it to make it really stand out. And we're going to do that for every single one, so keep that in mind. Let's take ourselves our orange, and then our white dye will go back in, and we want to build an A. Similar to the H, we start with a pale dexter, a fess just across the middle, a pale sinister to make a H, and then we go with a chief fess to make an A. Let's take our white dye out, our orange dye in, and then give this a border as well. So luckily our next letter in happy is of course P and then we have two of them to make. Now we only need one green banner and some white dye. We want to go with ourselves a white pale sinister first. Take out our white dye for our green dye. Get ourselves this lovely purfess inverted just here to sort of slice half of our line in half. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> then our fess. Then our pale dexter. So it looks like a, a really backward sort of Y, and then we'll take ourselves a um, white chief fess up here. Now, of course, you want to put yourself your green dye back in, so you can go ahead and give this a border, and you'll have yourself two of the peas that we're going to need later. Let's take ourselves our blue banner in, and we want our blue dye in as well. We're going to take ourselves a. I'm just going to do something a bit funky here. Oh, sorry, our, our white dye and not blue dye. I'm just going to go with a pale sinister here and then I'm going to go with one of these diagonal lines which is called a bend like so. So nothing really fancy for my Y here. If you guys want to get fancy feel free but I'm just going to go with the basic stuff just in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and place my happy down. I'm just going to go ahead and go roughly against my um, cake and then my <laughs> picnic sort of here. So you want to be able to see this from your picnic area of course. So I recommend sort of going maybe one block from the side, so where the pillar is, so you can still read it, but it is kind of behind the pillar like that. So it reads Appy right now. <laughs> We're gonna need some more banners for our letterings, um, but definitely keep your A and your H and your Y actually. So if you wanna go ahead and get rid of your inventory, that's fine. Make sure you have pick block on so you can get these back afterwards. But if you're in survival, keep your H, keep your A and keep your Y in birthday. Okay, so to spell birthday, we are going to take ourselves a yellow banner, a light blue banner, a red banner, and a pink banner. We'll take some white dye of all that, yellow dye, light blue dye, red dye, and pink dye. Coming to our loom, open it up, lovely clean inventory for a change. We'll take our yellow banner in with our white dye in as well. Now we're first going to start off by going with a white pale sinister and a pale dexter. A fess, so we've got a H now, and then we'll just go with ourselves a chief fess and a base, a base fess like so. Now what I'm going to do is quickly border this like that, and we have B. Awesome. Let's take ourselves our I, so we need our light blue banner, and we just need some white dye for a pale, and that's basically that. Let's just go ahead and border this. And that is an eye. So easy, and I absolutely love eyes for that reason. <laughs> Which sounds weird. <laughs> we'll take a red banner and our white dye in again. And for R here, we're going to take ourselves a um, chief fess, a red bend, uh, sorry, a white bend, and a pale dexter. And of course, we want to border all this as well with our red dye, just like so. So we have B right now. Now we need a T. We'll take our pink banner, we'll go ahead and take our white dye just in here. I'm going to go with one of these pails in the middle, and then I'll just go with a chief fess up top. Taking my pink dye back from my white and giving it a border as well. Now there's one final thing we can use these materials for as well, and it's just going to be to get a second uh, yellow banner, because we need to go ahead and build ourselves a D. So I'm going to swap this out for my pink up here, as we're not going to need that again. Stick my yellow banner back in, stick my white dye back in, and this one is going to be a little bit troublesome, so definitely stay tuned. We will take ourselves a 
pale de uh, sinister with our white die, swap it for our yellow die, and make ourselves a lozenge like this, so it's the diamond in the middle, like so. Now we'll swap back to our white die, we'll get ourselves a pale dexter, a chiefess, and then a base vest like so. And then we'll go ahead and border this with yellow. Like that. Now I was worried I wasn't going to be able to remember how to do that off by heart, but I actually did, so I'm proud of that. <laughs> now we'll check ourselves B I R T, and then we need to go ahead and pick block back our H from up here. H. And then of course we have day, so D, and then pick blocking A back, and then pick blocking Y back. Just up here. Now come back, destroy your loom. Come back down here, check how it's looking. Okay, it's a little bit off center, but you guys can sort that out, you know what to do there. But otherwise, we have ourselves a birthday message with a cake, with a gazebo set up, with a picnic here for your friends to enjoy. Looking lovely. I'm just gonna quickly sort that out because it's bugging me. There we go, looking lovely. <laughs> Well done Assassins, thank you so much for joining me for another Wheel Assassin Guide. I hope you guys have had fun with this tutorial. It has been an absolute pleasure to teach you how to build another celebratory one. Um, I do enjoy doing these and it is always very fun. So thank you for the opportunity once again. If you want to go ahead and drop a like on this video if you did find it helpful and you did enjoy, that would be really really appreciated and uh, it would hopefully get this video recommended to more people out there stuck for birthday ideas, so that would be cool to see. If, well, not cool to see them stuck, but you know what I mean. Cool to see them. <laughs> Sorry. Um, if you guys want to consider subscribing for future Minecraft tutorials, I do have a lot on my channel, including Pusheen, Dead Ahead of Me, This Cake, of course, and many, many, many others. Not just pixel art tutorials, there are tons. So definitely go and have a look through those and uh, see what you like. But yeah, have an excellent rest of your day, guys. If it is your birthday, happy birthday to you, my friend. I hope you have a wonderful day. Let me know in the comments below, and I'll try my best to wish you happy birthday uh, myself with a lovely reply as well. So um, yeah, take the best of care. Have an excellent one, guys, and goodbye for now.